question number 11 uh, part a I briefly explain why T has to see the equation the temperature T and the cup of T is given T that is with the time in the minutes measurement began so this is a simple question briefly explain why T has to be greater than no equal zero because the time can't be negative because the time can't be negative question b state the starting temperature or oh, they are uh, initial temp temperature So this is T equal 55 times E minus 0 over 8 plus 20 as T equal 0. Then this is T 55 times this is uh, E 0 is 1 plus 20 because uh, as E 0 is equal to 1. So T equal 55 plus 20 equal 75. So part C we want to find uh, when T equal 50 the time. So 50 equal 55 E minus T over 8 plus 20. So plus 20 when is counted. 30 equal 55 e minus t 8 so this is 55 uh, 1 over e t 8 i make it positive then uh, i'm considering those two then cross multiply e t 8 equal 55 over 30 so this is 11 this is 6 we can divide by 5 then uh, when you take uh, ln t over 8 equal ln 11 over 6 t equal 8 ln 11 over 6 which is uh, 4.89 in terms of uh, minutes about 5 minutes and by sketching the graph or otherwise explain why the temperature of the, the T will never be 4. So we can draw a graph or we can uh, tell that usually uh, when T goes to positive infinity uh, minus E T O 8 goes to 0. Hence T equal 55 times 0 plus 20 hence t equal 20 hence uh, hence uh, minimum value of the temperature is 20 maybe this may be the room temperature in a tropical country not here of right uh, number 12 see whether you can uh, do this sum without reading i mean uh, uh, just look at the graph you you can see this one is equal a v b then i can see that uh, we have to take the log log x equal log a v b then log x equal log a plus log v b then log a plus b log v log s uh, yeah, we got that one and part b now we have a table i think you can simply write uh, log s and log v we have the table on top so just simply we want to put into the 
log 0 0.86 here and uh, this is 1.26 1.70 and 1.53 when you put into the log the above value is 2 2.05 2.05 2.35 and 2.40 and 2.72 and what we against s draw in a line for best fit so we have to draw a graph uh, so by you can add this is the dependent value this is the independent value v then log v is the independent uh, independent this is dependent so the graph is going to be uh, log s and log v and graph is going to be somewhere here so this is uh, about minus 1.05 and the gradient let's say m so m we can find with taking uh, um, two points so what is this form y equal mx plus c so gradient equal to b so b equal gradient of this curve which is uh, i take 2.72 Uh, part C, we have to draw yeah, the curve, but I'm not going to go for that. Uh, I'll work differently. Uh, you can draw that curve, put the curve. Um, let me go it differently A, B, and then uh, because log S equal log A plus B log v so this is y equal mx plus c form somehow i don't i'm going to apply some data because uh, this is going through this one to uh, 0 0.8 x 86 1.26 is uh, on this line this one so this is the line so it should be satisfied then so log x we found out log x value that is going to be one point two six so this is log a plus b log y is uh, log v so 0 0.86 so this is one equation other one is uh, 2.72 250 points on 1 hence uh, it should satisfy this equation so what is the s value here 2.5 0 equal then log a plus b log v is 2.72 2.72 this is 1 and this is this is 2 and this is 3 now i have two linear equations so i have to solve let's solve when i minus uh, 3 minus 2 
I will get 2.50 minus 126 uh, equal uh, this is cancel out and B 2.72 minus 0 0.86 so then B equal 2.50 minus 1.26 minus 2.72 minus 0 0.86 So B equal when you simplify you will get 2 over 3 and then when I substitute to this uh, number 2 let's say from uh, number 2 1.26 equal um, log A e plus 2 over 3 times 0 0.86 so this is going to be log a equal approximately uh, 0.57 this is 1.26 then 1.26 minus 0.57 equal log a so a equal 10 to the power 0.69 which is a equal 4.89 for this uh, c and d hmm, so this is what i get for this sum so my answer does not match with the book answer so i'm going to leave this sum uh, uh, yeah, if you want, please disregard this one. Question number 13. Uh, this is a radioactive model. Radioactive substance. Uh, EKT. The first question is, uh, explain briefly why K must be negative. K must be negative because uh, it is a decay. K must be negative because the substance says is decaying. We now we have to sketch this one. Uh, we know K is negative. Uh, can I assume that uh, K is minus A or something? So then the, we can see the negativity in the equation. E equal minus A T. Minus A mean K. Uh, so now we know that uh, we start with uh, E T, E A T, then uh, E minus A T, 140 minus E A T. So this is E T and uh, E A T, then uh, minus E A T and uh, 140. So this is 0, 1. This has become 140. 0, 140 so this kind of there is no time no time is not negative so time can't be negative so this side is not there so this kind of graph finally we need to we should have so this type of curve we are expecting this value is 140 now in part C they will tell that there is a point after 30 days so x axis third x value is 30 is measured at uh, 70 so this is 70 so we'll substitute here r equals 70 this is r and this is t so 70 equal 140 e k times uh, 30 so i'll write 30 k 
now this is going to be half half equal e30 key uh, or e30 key equal half so then uh, when i put ln uh, 30k equal ln half so k equal 130 uh, ln half so i'll bring this one top k equal 130 ln 2 minus 1 then i can bring this minus 1 to here so 130 times minus 1 times ln 2 so this is going to be minus 1 over 30 ln 2 so when you compare with c c equal uh, minus 1 over 30 question number 14 when you're done and you read we have a equation a equals 0 0.4x uh, uh, minus 1. Find the total number of uh, views after 5 days. So when x equal 5, v equal uh, e, e to the power 0 0.4 times 5 minus 1 so v equal e2 minus 1 so this is going to be 7.389 minus 1 6.389 approximately 6.4 million viewers wheels Uh, part B, find, find dv over dx, dv over dx is 0 0.4 uh, times 0 0.4x, we won't write this one and the dif differentiation of this one and minus 1 is going to be 0. And part C, we are talking about a rate, it means dv over dx, when x equal 100, dv over dx equal 0 0.4, e 0 0.4 times 100, which is 0 0.4 e 40 uh, 9.4 10 to the power 16 million are these yeah to answer to part C, you need to comment on the validity of the model after 100 days. So, what is so we have to come in by looking at this value. This is 16. Um, the number is very large. number is too large for 100 days maybe more than the population sometime i think the world population is uh, around 70.2 billion so uh, um, not practical Question number 15, this is about uh, some related to earthquake. Uh, 
part a when uh, s equal 2.24 to the power 1020 we need to do the calculation find the magnitude uh, so m equal 2 over 3 log 10 to the power so that is 2.24 times 10 to the power 22 minus 10.7 So 2 over 3, this amount you can straight take from the calculator, 22.35 minus 10.7, so that is going to be 4.2, uh, part B, in magnitude 6, we need to calculate the uh, S value, so this is 6 equal to 2 over 3 log uh, is equal 10.7 so this is going to be a 6 plus 10 16.7 2 over 3 log is so 16.7 times 3 over 2 log s this value is going to be 25 over 5 log uh, s then s equal 10 to the power 25 0 4 5 so then it's going to be 1.2 10 to the power 25 and the other one is when m equal 7 uh, 7 equal 2 over 3 log 7 minus 10.7 so this is 17.7 2 over 3 log s so log s equals 7.7 .7 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 so this is uh, 26.55 log s so s is 10 to the power 26.55 so this value is 3.55 times 10 to the power 26.9 centimeter ah see it's a comparison using alpha otherwise so that the earthquake of magnitude 7 is approximately 32 times so M7 is uh, greater, so 3.55, uh, 1026 divided by 1.12, 20, this is approximately 31.6 uh, times, 32 times. Question number 16, uh, that's a calculation, so uh, in this calculation uh, we can see that uh, the second line is wrong, so when we do the proper calculation part to solve is equal correctly, so we'll start solving, the student did, so he fact factorized this one, x minus uh, mm, This is just no half yeah. half log two to the power uh, x and log two to the power x plus one half equal one. Let's go inside the third one and uh, then a student try to factorize like this one and then this one is going to be x plus one half a times two to the power one so this is the error 
I can see that uh, yeah he, uh, he has done so you can't factorize like this so, so this is a division so we'll work from there log subtraction mean uh, it is division uh, turning into a division x over uh, x plus 1 square root equal 1 now this is the base and this is the power so x over x square x plus 1 square root equal uh, 2 to the power 1 which is 2 x equal 2 square root x plus 1 so we will square this one uh, then this is become x square equal 4 times x plus 1 so x square minus 4x minus 4 uh, equals 0 now we will have to sub um, we have to use the quadratic formula so x equal minus minus 4 plus 4 minus b square minus 4 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 over 2 times uh, a two times one so this is four plus so minus uh, sixteen plus sixteen over two this is four plus so minus the square root thirty two over two so four plus so minus uh, Sixteen uh, four times square root two over two. So this is going to be two plus or minus two square root two. So there are two answers. X equal two plus square root two. Two square root two or x equal two minus two square root two. Uh, but uh, is less than zero hence uh, this is not the solution solution as uh, logarithm is not defined for negative numbers so part a is uh, line 2 is uh, wrong as subtraction is used instead of uh, division algorithm. <laughs> 